Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, please say hello to your friends because we will disable the chat as we start to be sure that everybody is concentrating on the topic and at the same time YouTube have no excuse to take our videos down. So say hello to each other and let us start the topic for today. As usual, Muhammadan they make posts for us. And you will notice that all the posts they make, they never answer anything we say in the video. It's like, you know, a, a kid. And uh, I don't know if you saw the debate between uh, Shabir Ali and Anthony. Uh, Shabir Ali, he says, oh, you have the same problem. They cannot answer us. Which means they agree in everything in the video. So what they do? Oh, you have the same problem. Mm -hmm. uh, how this can be true? Mm -hmm. So everything we said, and the funny, some of them even they say to you, who is going to listen to you with zero proof? Zero proof. I mean, all the reference we saw, we show in the screen, from the first moment we start until the last moment we end, they say to us, show us the proof. Where is the proof? We show them Quran. Where is the proof? We show them the Hadith. Where is the proof? <laughs> and this is why, actually, I said to myself, I mean, Islam looked like, like a religion under the influence of the magic mushroom. You know, those who take drugs and it's, I mean, you talk to him about something, he answers about something else. Otherwise, you explain to me. I mean, what, what is the secret? The prophet was bewitched. What they will say? They will quote for you a verse from the Bible. Have nothing to do with the topic. So instead of answering what we are asking, they go to the magic mushroom effect. However, we know that Muhammad he was under the influence of magic mushroom, and you know he suffered from it. Now, they will say, where is the reference? Here we go. Let me show it. Otherwise, they will say, this is not a true. What is the proof? Zero proof. Who's going to listen to you? Zero. Not like 1%. Not two. No, zero proof. Are you sure? Yes, zero proof. You have no proof. So, this is your prophet wife saying that your prophet was under the magic mushroom. You Muslim, you call you, you say it. He was bewitched. Okay, yeah. So the bewitched prophet. Good, good luck. Uh, the bewitched prophet. So how the prophet he receive his Quran? If this person is under the black magic, which is satanic magic, if it is exist, but according to Muslim, black magic is satanic. So somebody is under black magic, which means under the control of shaitan, but yet he is the messenger of Allah at the same time. So look what happened now. We have a messenger. He is the messenger of shaitan because this is what black magic means, controlling you. You have a remote control. You control somebody. Muhammad is totally under the control of shaitan. And Muhammad in the same time is totally under the control of Allah. <laughs> but obviously, the one is really in control is shaitan. So look like the followers are not better than the one they follow. All of them, they are bewitched and they imagine things. So let us go and see. Uh, I promise myself I will make this video short. Okay. Like yesterday, I said that this video is a short video. It took me two hours. So help me out. <laughs> I said it's a short video. Remember? It's a short video, brother. Are you sure? Yes, brother. Uh, okay. Let us see. Uh, I think I, I closed the comment section. Hold on. By mistake. Uh, let me fix it. The magic mushroom. All right, we open it again and let us see the comment so we can go there.
Uh, anyway, this is, should be like a 15, 20 minute videos, not longer. What is the comment of this guy? And don't tell me it's gone. Mm -hmm. Let us see. All right. I don't know. I cannot find it. I just texted him saying, just wait for my answer. And uh, I, uh, <clears throat> let us check again. Sorry, guys, you are making you wait. Hmm. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing. I mean, this video have endless number of Okay, hold on, let's try something else. We are loading the page again. Ah, I found it. It was in a reply. This is why it was hiding. All right. So let us show you the Islamic intelligence. How the Muslims are blessed with special high uh, IQ. Version of Bible. And by the way, the Muslims they say like which one you believe in the version the the, uh, the book of God. I saw a comment says which one you believe in the book of God or the book of King James. Abdul, King James is the name of translation. Which one you believe in? Quran or Yusuf Ali? I mean, silly. I mean, I don't know. I mean, doesn't know what I don't know what to say. I mean, it's so silly. Look at this. Version of the Bible. He who hang on a tree or a cross is cursed by God. Therefore, if the Bible is correct, Jesus is it was a truly uh, crucified. Doesn't that make Jesus cursed and false messiah? I didn't, I didn't know, you know, I mean, you tell me, obviously he is cursed. I mean, like you did read this verse, but you did not read this verse about what? The Bible says that the one who is cursed is the one who hang on the tree for a crime. And this is what they are quoting. Which mean, the ones who they are criminals should be hang on the tree. But the story in the Bible, Abdul, says it clearly that Jesus commit no crime. And even the Roman ruler, he says, I wash my hands from his blood. And then the Jews, they scream saying, well, his, hand, his blood is on our hand and our children after us. So if you read here, if you know how to read, I hope you are not like your prophet, you will see that those who commit a crime, they commit a crime. Those are the one who will be punished for they are cursed and they will be hanged on a, on a tree. But for a person like you who quote the Bible, the question is, how you quote this verse without reading the rest? Just yesterday, two days ago, we, sh we answered a Muslim about Jesus saying, I can do nothing of my own. The question is, how the Muslim was able to reach that verse, but he did not read all the verses before it and all the verses after it. And here you see always the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. The second you are a Muhammadan, you have a lack of decency, not only lack of intellect, lack of decency. And I'm talking about Muhammad who attacked Christianity. I'm not talking about the normal person walking the street. His name is Muhammad. Those, if you want to attack Christianity, either you, you have decency, so you can say something truthful, or you are a liar like your prophet. So how Jesus, he, you know, he was hung in the cross, unless, I mean, he, unless this is a curse, the Bible says, 
those who hang and who, those who will be hanged is the one who they are cursed for they commit a crime. They this did mischief it in the earth. But for you, because you are a copy paste creature, you don't want to read the chapter. The same chapter you are reading from it says it clearly that Jesus he took took our curse which means we are the one who commit the crime we are the one who crucified him we are the one who killed him but yet he is the one who was killed the cross you have no guilt even your Quran says in chapter 19 verse number 19 peace be upon me the day I die the way I, the day I was born the day I die and the day I am resurrected why peace upon him because you have no sin he is holy Chapter 19, verse 19 says that Jesus is the son of Mary, and he is a holy son. He is a holy son. So when a Muslim, he make fun of the Bible, making fun at the same time of Jesus, they are making fun of their own prophet, who was trying to use the name of Jesus. To mislead people. If we go right now to the Quran and we check what Muhammad he said about or supposedly Allah sorry not Muhammad Muhammad is not the one is talking it is Allah you will see that the Quran saying he is a holy son so how a holy son can be cursed are you cursing your prophet now are you saying your prophet is a liar too and here the question is why Muslims they lie when they speak about what the Bible mean why why they lie the answer is very simple they are desperate they cannot they don't know how to refute us how to stop us but except by lying lying to themselves you're not lying to us you know we knew what this is mean you are just a joke every single Christian he knew what this is mean you can type the verse right now and you can see that like go to Bible help you will see right away the interpretation of all the verses connected to it people were laughing at you no decency but anyway this is for our benefit because there's many people who don't want to believe us that Islam is a religion who have lack of decency. Now we continue. How you can believe in someone, he was not able to save himself from being outwitted, cut, stripped, naked, and called uh, and, and nailed of piece of wood and called that is God? Well, this is a good question. I mean, how you can believe in that uh, to be God and all of those things happen to him? This is, can be true if Jesus did not say way before the crucifixion happened, I will be crucified, I will be tortured, I will be killed, all those things will happen to me. And when his disciple, he decided to defend him by his sword, he, Jesus the Messiah, he rebuked him. So you as a fool, asking a question and same, same time insulting Islam. Because if Jesus, those things happen to him, and that mean to prove that he is not what he claimed to be. Well, what about your prophet who died by a poison like a rat? And he could not save himself. Isn't you Muslims who say the prophet, he saved people? Isn't it you Muslims who say that Allah, he gave Jesus the ability to make people live? He raised people from death. Muhammad is dying. And he is saying, I am dying because of the poison I ate in Khaybar. Now, if you are going to say your prophet is a stupid, he is saying things is not true, well, this is your business. You can say that. But your prophet confirming that he feel that his arta is cutting off, was cut off from the poison he ate at Khaybar. Question, isn't it the Quran says that if Muhammad is a liar, Allah will cut his artery? You see, I'm doing the same as you did, but the, the difference between me and you, I have decency. You said that isn't it, isn't it the Bible says if Jesus is cursed, if if if, uh, uh, if the one who hangs on the cross is a, is a, is a cursed? Okay, isn't it the Quran says that the one who lie about Allah will cut his artery, the artery of his heart? Yes, chapter sixty nine, verse number forty six. Is it true that your prophet he said this is exactly how he died? Yes, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, very authentic hadith. So here the difference is, when a Muslim he make a claim about the death of Jesus, the answer is very easy, and his claim is false, 
as his prophet. But when we make a claim about the death of Muhammad, how they can refute that? I will tell you, the Muslim, they will say to you that orta is not the same as artery. Well, the word in Arabic is abhari. You can go right now to the dictionary and you can see the word in the Quran, which is al watin and you will see both of them mean the same. Actually, I can do it right now in the screen. The same word in the Quran, the same meaning, abhari and al watin So, your prophet, he died by poison and his orta is being cut off exactly as he prophesy that if he is a liar and he is a fraud Allah will do this to him now I don't think Allah is the one who did that to him I believe my God he caused Muhammad to die in such a way to prove to us that Muhammad is a big fraud the same as did that when he says may God mute me if I'm lying and then he was muted for many years I wish I can find that video. So we can play it and we'll laugh. Then here, he is quoting for us a verse from the Quran. And he is saying, they have certainly the disbelief who say, Allah is the Messiah. First of all, we don't say Allah is the Messiah. We keep saying Allah is the devil. So how we will say Allah is the Messiah? That is a stupid verse in the Quran. Because how we will say Allah is the Messiah when we are accusing Allah to be a fiction name of the moon God and Muhammad is a, is a satanic person who is teaching you not to be ethical. Nothing, I mean, if Allah is a good person and we are saying Allah is the Messiah, that makes sense then. Okay, we will say, okay, let us say Allah is a word mean God, so we say Allah is the Messiah. But how we can say Allah is the Messiah when the Messiah says don't do fornication? Allah says do fornication. Do you know, people, that there is no punishment in the Quran for having sex with your daughter, having sex with your mother? Do you know that many Islamic sects, they approve it even? They say there's no penalty? Do you know in the whole Quran, there's no punishment of rape? The word rape, they were mentioned. Because how he will say to them, I will punish you for rape if they are Muhammad and his army are a bunch of rapists. Have you ever heard of a book? Have time to talk about an ant speaking to the other ants. Fiction stories, flying carpet, flying horses. And yet he don't have a time to make a verse about rape. And they say Islam is a perfect religion. And then they quote for you a verse and they say, well, the, the Quran says if somebody do mischievement, you do this and this and that to them. Mischievement? What mischievement? Where is the verse? This is about rape? This is not about rape. And then we will find that Muslims, they try to cover up for Muhammad and they come with tons of stories and they try to measure them and they say the prophet in his time something happened like this so we are going to do the same even though the Quran never say what to do but the question is how Muhammad he died exactly as he wished if he is a liar and here look what you just said you are the one who just said that Jesus is cursed according to your understanding or your lies in the Bible so how the Christian, they believe in someone he is cursed to be God? I mean, are you contradicting yourself? If you are God, who is the one who curses who? I mean, how stupid is this claim is? If I am cursed, that means God cursed me. So we believe that Jesus is cursed, but he is God. So, uh, so Jesus cursed Jesus? <laughs> how stupid are you? I take it back. You are not stupid. Uh, you know, stupid people will, will sue me for calling you stupid. So look what you are saying to us. While the Messiah said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Jesus, he said that we are oh, in the Quran. Who is the one who brought the Quran? Muhammad. Are there witnesses? No. <laughs> 600 years after Jesus, a guy is telling us what Jesus said. The Muslim disapprove the Bibles the four Gospels, and they say they are written after Jesus. How many years, they say, of uh, some of them 50, 60, more. 
almost 700 years after Christ, somebody don't speak the language of Christ. Someone he never met Christ. Someone they claim that he do not know how to read, how to write. He is going to tell us what Christ he said. How? Allah told him. Oh, okay. Mm, that makes sense. And then he quoted for us Matthew chapter 7, verse number 22, 24. A new international version. This is a translation. I don't I don't use this translation. A translation is a translation. But anyway, I will use the translation you are you are quoting for you know quoting for us. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? And in your name we drive out demon, and in your name perform many miracles. Then I will tell them plainly, I never know you. Away from me, you evil doers. Okay, hold on. I mean, I never heard of a stupid claim a Muslim he make like this. A second ago, you posed for us a verse saying that Jesus, he said to the children of Israel, worship me. And now you are posting for us a verse saying that Jesus, he accept to be their Lord, their God. Look, this is the translation you choose. And this is a translation actually, I don't approve at all. International version is have a lot of mistakes in translation. But I will go with the translation you choose. Many they will say to me on that day, many, Lord, Lord, God, God, didn't we prophesy in your name? People prophesy in the name of Jesus, you idiot. You see, when I claim to be a prophet, I claim to be a prophet in the name of God. And you Muslim, you say to us, where Jesus is, I'm God. Now they will say to you, oh, Look, he said to me, he said to them, depart from me. Depart from me. Hmm. Now, why this person, he chose this translation? Is this translation is really accurate? Let us see. Just to show you, when Muslims, even they, they quote something, you cannot trust what they say. Never, never trust a Muslim quotation in anything. Never, ever. Learn your lesson. Learn your lesson. I'm not saying that the, 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 the quotation here is not correct. I'm not saying that. I'm saying never trust a Muslim po you know, posting for you a translation, anything. Right? Now, if you read the, 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 the verse, it says, many will say to me, many. Okay. Not all, many, many of who? Many of those who claim to be Christian. Many of them. In the day of what? In the day of judgment. So Jesus will be the judge in the judgment day. Many of them, they will say to him, we did this in your name. We did that in your name. And you notice you agreed now that you can do miracles in the name of Jesus. How you can do that? They can cast demon in the name of Jesus. But those people are not true Christians. You see, because Jesus is God, his name is powerful. It's not them who is casting, it is the name of Christ. So look what Jesus confirmed to us from the translation, you are the ones quoting and accepting. That by the name of Jesus, you can do miracles. By the name of Jesus, you can cast demon. Who cast the demon out of Muhammad? Can Muhammad cast a demon out of himself? According to you, Muslims, Muslims don't believe in demon, as you know. So don't miss uh, many Christians. They are confused. They think Muslim they believe in demon. Muslim they don't. Muslim believe in something called genie, and genie is not a demon. Genie is a creature. He can have sex with your wife, according to Islam. This is why before you have sex with your wife in Islam, you have to say a certain prayer. Otherwise, genie, he will do intercourse with you to your wife. And then your son, according to Islam, will be, you know, from San Francisco. How silly. How stupid belief. But look what happened here. Your prophet ended the effect of the magic mushroom. Magic. Two men, they came to him. Supposedly those are angels. And now they are working in his case to see how they can help him. 
So look what happened. We have a story about your prophet is in total disability. He cannot even save himself from the magic mushroom. Well, we have Jesus name, name, not Jesus himself. I mean, if the name can do that, what about the person? So while you're a prophet under the magic mushroom, hallucinating, imagine himself having sex with his wife. In fact, it was the pillow. And this is when he's awake, not when he's asleep. While this is happening to Muhammad, look what people they are using the name of Jesus for. For they are using the name for good, good will happen. Miracles will happen in your name. We prophesy in your name. And Jesus will say to them, I do not know you. But why you did not read the rest? Why he said to them, I do not know you? You don't want to read the rest. And the funny you are the one who says Matthew 7, 22, 24. Why you don't post 23 and 24? Does it hurt you? Read it. He will say to them, Depart from me that you work in equity. What does that mean? Well, you did not do it for me. You do it for your own benefit. You want to receive a glory to say we can do miracles. In the name of Jesus, yes, but you are using it for your own. And always ask yourself as a Christian, if you are watching, why we don't read the chapter 7 and why Muslim is not quoting the first 22 verse before verse number 20 or the first 22, 21 verse? <laughs> why he jumped to 22? Did he like that one? The rest is not going to help him? Look what Jesus said. You shall know them by their fruits. This is why your prophet is an evil man. His fruits is evil. All of this is an amazing teaching. And then you skip. And you don't want to people to see what happened. Not everyone, and this is why you did not quote for us, the whole thing. You skip verse number 21. Do you see how evil they are? Why he skip verse number 21? Anyone can tell me? Why? Because in 21 it says, not everyone who say to me, Lord, Lord. So he chose the one who says, many they will say to me. So why you did not quote not everyone? Because not everyone mean many who say to me, God, God, they will go to heaven. But not everyone. I mean, do you see the fraud? Do you see how this fraud cult work? The lack of decency is upon them. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who does the will of my father, which is in heaven. So Jesus confirmed that God is his father, God the father, and he is a son. And he confirmed that he is the Lord. God is one. Even though we believe in Trinity, but this, still we have one God. And not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, not everyone says to me, God, God, but many who says to me, God, God, too, they will go to heaven, but not everyone. And why those people who they will not go to heaven? What is the problem with them? Even though they might say, some of them, we prophesy in your name. Other some, they might say, we cast de demons or devil in your name. Some they will say, we did miracles in your name. He will say to them, well, you have a problem. You did not do it for me. You do it. You did it for your own glory. So 
when a Muslim he quotes something not only he strengthens our faith as a Christians he help us actually to show the Christians how to refute their evil the evil doers this is this is the evil doer act act you see Jesus he kick away those people because they are evil doers yet they might appear they are doing something good but still they are evil doers like Muhammad Muhammad he make a speech about decency etc and then he rape women he go to his son or the wife of his own son when the husband is not there and he flirt with her and he sleep with her he marry her which is not a marriage the husband right away the wife she told him your your father was here and he was flirting with me the son he knew right now obviously in the wife she is a bad woman and she is sleeping with his father and his father will kill him is a powerful man. He have thousands of swords to chop his head. So he said to himself, let me get rid of this woman before he send me somewhere to die. So immediately he went to the house of his father, say, hey, father, I don't like this woman. Trust me, I don't like her. Muhammad the hypocrite, he says, no, no, no. Keep her, keep her, keep her. <laughs> Come on, keep Look, the coward. He just flirted with the wife five minutes ago. And now when the husband came to him, says, I don't want her no more. And imagine why the husband, he says, I don't want you no more until he heard what happened. I mean, how come he don't, he did not say, I don't like her. I don't want her no more before. So what Muhammad and they try to do, they try to take what is on them and they throw it on us. Actually, Muhammad, he said he would do that. He said that his God, supposedly in the judgment day, He will take the sin of the Christ of the of the Muslims and he will place it on the Christians. Can you believe it? How evil. And you know the funny they say that the Quran says, which it makes sense supposedly, that nobody should pay for the sin of somebody else. This is what they say to us. They say, Why Jesus should pay for your sin? Is that fair? Is that just? Huh? So you commit sin and he pay for it? That's not right. That is uh, funny. But for those who know the cult of Islam very well, they knew that Muslims believe in unjust. When Christ, he take our sin away, he is not being unjust to us. And he is not even being unjust to himself for his God anyway. But because he loved us, so what is called unjust is love for him. What is called suffering is something he do willingly. And he forgave even those who crucify him. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. While your prophet was putting nails in the eyes of people as revenge, cutting their hands, crucifying them, cutting their feet as an evil man. Jesus was saying, forgive them, Father. They don't know what they are doing. And here in front of us we see, this is a very authentic hadith, that Allah in the judgment day will take the sin of all the Muslims, even if it's like mountains. There would, would come people among the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sin as mountain, and Allah would forgive them. He would place on in their sin and instead the Jews and the Christians. What kind of religion this religion is? So what Allah is saying to the Muslim, go sin. I give you license. Have, have sin like mountains. Don't worry about it. Go rape, go kill, go steal. Because at the end of the day, I will take all your sin. I will place it in the Christians. The rapist, have fun. The thief, have fun. The killer, have fun. The child molester, have fun. Go and be a gang system and do as you wish. For at the end of the day, whatever you do, I will take it away. I place it in the Christians. If you say this is not what it's saying, people will laugh at you. The hadith is in front of us and it is authentic. This is Sahih Muslim. The word Sahih means authentic. The reason it's called authentic because it's authentic. However, anything is embarrassing to Muslims, they will say it's not authentic. Anything bring embarrassment to Muhammadan, they will deny it. Then Look what the Muhammad, and we continue with his uh, writing. He says, Jesus is a human, 
Eight to drink, need to go to the bathroom. I want you to show me reference about the bathroom. However, I have reference about your prophet that when he went to the bathroom, the angel of Allah speak to him. And what Muhammad he do? He fly. He run away and his pant between his legs. So when you say something, please next time show us what you are talking about. And Jesus as a human, but isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he sent his spirit and his spirit appeared to Mary as fully human. So that's mean, and the Muslim he calls the spirit, this Holy Spirit, according to Islam, is Jibreel. So are you saying that Jibreel, when he became a human, he is not Jibreel no more? Did Jibreel eat with your prophet? Here you see the stupidity of the claim. This religion cannot even stand its own cult. And not only that, it's shown us one of two things. Only is this is a pure line about their cult, they don't, or, or they don't know. But I will not be surprised if this person, he never heard what I'm saying. If we go to the Quran right now, we will see that the Spirit of Allah, which is according to Muslims, the Quran never say that this is the, the this is Jibreel, appeared to Mary as a perfect spirit, as a perfect man, sorry. And here you ask yourself, so was this perfect man still he is Jibreel? So when this man, he came to Muhammad in the cave and he is an angel, but yet he is a man. He is not Jibreel no more. And he was going to the bathroom. When this Jibreel, he ate with your prophet, he was going to the bathroom. When the Quran says he is a man in every ass or all respect, does that mean he have testicles? He have private part of a man. What does that mean? Yes, this is what it says. So here you see the stupidity and the hypocrisy. Secondly, when you say that Jesus is a human, well, how come you remember that Jesus is a human when you want, but you don't remember that Jesus, the human, can make people who they are dead come back from earth? Oh, you will say Allah told him, he can't, you can't do it. Doesn't matter, you, this is your claim, there's no proof. I can say I am the one who gave him the power. But what is confirmed in the Quran, that Jesus have the power over death. Yet he eat, as you said. Yet he have a flesh of a human, as you said. Yet he sleep, as you said. But yet he say one word and the dead man is alive. The hypocrites, they remember Jesus is just a human only when they want. And they forget that Jesus, the human, is right now up in heaven for thousands of years. Muhammad is dead. His flesh is rotten, been eaten by insect. There's a hadith where Muhammad, he said, I said I will make the hadith the, the video short, right? Unbelievable. I should finish it soon. Muhammad he said in the hadith that we the Prophet uh, our body will not decay. He asked the Muslim to pray, to supplicate for him. He said their prayer will be submitted to me. And here you see that Muhammad is claiming to be God. Because why the prayer will be submitted to you? Are you God? People, they pray to God and prayer submitted to God. So Muhammad, he said to them, your prayer will be submitted to me. So submit, invoke, pray, not blessing. They lie here, they say invoke blessing. It doesn't say that, it says salah. Where is the word blessing? Liars, it says, and make more of a prayer on me. They said to him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, and how our prayer will be submitted to you? Submitted to you? You? Why? Are you God? And then they said to him, when your body has decayed because you will be dead. So what is left of you? He said, oh, 
Allah has forbid the earth from con consuming the bodies of the Prophet. So why Muslims don't open the, the, the grave of Muhammad? Let us see if his body is there. We'll take you five minutes. Either Muhammad is a fraud and or not. Actually, we do not need to do that. There's tons of hadith proving that Muhammad, he was not buried for three days, three nights, and his body stink. This is why the hadith says, "Itfinu sahibakum faqad antan. Bury your friend, he stink. The hadith says his males became a green. You know, when a dead man, he die. I mean, this happened to everybody. It's nothing special about Muhammad. Uh, whatever food you have inside you not only your skin will start you know uh, your your body will, will smell even the, the food inside you that the, the, the most of the, the smell coming from there so whatever you have inside your 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 stomach your uh, uh, organs uh, is going to start uh, uh, producing gas and then the body will inf like will be inflate will become like a balloon three days and three night Muhammad is dead they did not bury him. Why? Because he told them, my body will not decay. So why do you want to bury him? You tell me. They believed the liar. They thought the liar is saying the truth. Why we need to bury the man if his body will not be decayed? Let him in the bed. And then because he stinks so much and they cannot even take off his clothes, after three days, they decide to bury him with his own clothing under the bed the same bed they, don't, they could not even move him because his skin is coming out the most time they will say this is not true challenge me debate me i will show you that he stink and his body was in a decay situation so when the most time they said jesus he ate and he drank and that will not make him god that is funny because are you saying god he cannot come and eat and appear as a man in the flesh of a man and if you do that he will not be God it's like you are saying to me that the Sun go inside the murky water and the Quran huh? and because it go inside the murky water so the Sun became dirty <laughs> very silly the light of the Sun goes in dirty water who is going to win the dirty water or the Sun the Sun the Sun will destroy the bacteria and the sun will stay light will stay light light will stay light even when it is inside the water so if the light of Christ is inside the flesh of a man still the light of God is God in that man the flesh will not affect him and the proof of that even your Quran says that Jesus he can make the dead come from the grave he can make the blind see he can do what nobody can do even the Quran says he can fashion from the mud from the clay a uh, figure of a bird and he breathed into it and the bird will become a living bird how jesus can do that they will say to you by the permission of allah well allah cannot do what jesus did prove it you say to say the per it's like you said i say to you i am the one who made you know how to swim okay christian prince do you know how to swim no oh yeah i know actually i know okay show us Hmm? Show us. Can you? The Quran even says that Allah refrained from sending miracles as an excuse because Allah could not do anything. But in the same time, the Quran confirmed that Jesus, he can make even, even the one who is born blind, which means the organ of the eyes is damaged, never been used. It doesn't work. It's a new creation. You have to do new creation. It's not like an illness. You heal it and then you see again. I have come to you with signs from your Lord. The Quran says from your Lord. What's wrong with you? Well, this is the Quran saying that. But the Quran confirmed that I make for you out of the clay as it were a figure of a bird. And I breathe into it. Who is going to breathe? Jesus. From the breath of Jesus, life comes. So if you say to me by permission of Allah, that is a stupid statement because, okay, Allah, he gave a permission, but where is the breathing coming from? The power of life. Like did Jesus make a fashion of a bird and say Allah make him a bird? No. Who is the one who breathed into it? Jesus. And what happened when he breathed into it? 
the bird became a living bird. It was say by Allah leave, it's a claim. And heal the born, the, 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 the born the blind, and heal the leper, and I quicken the dead for you, and I can tell you what you hide in your house is. And we mentioned before, you remember, that Muhammad, when they asked him the same question, he told them, don't ask me questions, I know nothing. I know nothing, don't ask me, please. While Jesus saying to them, it's challenging them, do you want me to tell you what you did today? Do you want me to tell you what you hide in your house? Do you want me to tell you what you did when nobody was watching? While Jesus was challenging them, saying to them, do you want me to tell you now what you did when nobody see you? What Muhammad said? Say, I tell you not that with me are the treasure of Allah, nor do I know what is hiding? No, do I tell you, I am an angel, but I follow what is revealed to me. Okay, Muhammad is the greatest prophet. He's the greatest than Jesus, according to Muslims. So the greatest prophet, he knew nothing. And the one who is not the greatest, he can tell you what you do. I mean, your Quran is like a book written by Scooby-Doo. One person saying to us, and just he's a human, remember, he's a human. I can tell you what you did at home. I can declare to you things nobody saw. I can declare to you what you'd eat. What you eat, how you can do that? In the same time, we have a guy, his name is Muhammad. He's saying to them, okay, hold on, don't ask me questions, okay? I am. I don't tell you I know anything. I don't claim that. I have no idea. I'm a Abdul. Okay? If we ask Zaka Mag, if you explain it more in a better way. Brother Sitar, if we make a comparison between the Prophet Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, we will find the following. First of all, Prophet Muhammad, you have no idea. When they accused him that his wife he is having sex with someone, he said, I have no idea. So Allah is sending a verse saying to him, he is not the one having sex. When they asked Jesus, he said, I have all the idea. I know where you had your food in. I know where you had your money. I know what you did. I know everything. The Prophet Muhammad, because he is not notable, he told them, I know nothing. I don't know even what the treasure of Allah. I don't know anything about his bank account. In the same time, brother, Jesus, he told them, I can make you alive if you are dead. I can make you see if you are blind. I can heal you if you are a leper. I can even make a bird from the mud if you like. And brother, I can make you even, I tell you what you hide in your houses and what your wife she made for you the food and what you cook and what you hide in your closet. I mean, how silly, how hilarious the claim of Muslims that Jesus is just a man. And look here, I mean, I don't know if I will continue with this stupidity. Uh, I think we have enough. The video became so long. As you notice here, that Muslims who try, always Islam is exist to downgrade Jesus in your eyes. Islam is an antichrist. What is the purpose of all of this conversation? Do you want, do you, they want you to believe that forget about Jesus, he's no one. Forget about the one who can tell you what you hide, what you did, what you ate. The one who can raise you from death. The one who can make you as a blind see. The one who is alive for a thousand of years and now he's in heaven even in, and this is all in their cult. And remember the one who said, I know nothing. I'm an idiot. The idiot of the village, Muhammad. The whole purpose of this cult is to make you leave Christ. This is why Muhammad, he said clearly that his message is to erase Christianity. He is an antichrist person. One of the names of Muhammad is Al-Mahi. What does that mean? Mahi what? The eraser. What he will erase? 
he want to erase Jesus. See all of those hadith. He want to erase Christianity. How he want to erase Christianity? Well, forget about Jesus. Don't follow Jesus. You follow Muhammad. Jesus is no one for them. Very cowardly, satanic person. His name is Muhammad. He changed his name. He called himself the praised one because he wanted to be Jesus. Actually, maybe sometime I can make a, a special uh, a study about a man his name is Manny and you will see that Muhammad is almost a copy of Manny but there's a huge difference between Manny and Muhammad Manny is not filthy like Muhammad we have to admit but Muhammad he copy a lot of things from Manny like you know uh, the way Jibril he spoke to him you know everything almost a lot of stories you can search about Prophet Manny, and actually, until now, there's people who believe in him. In certain time, actually, this person became so famous. You know, he became almost like Muhammad. But then, the difference is because you don't have an army to overcome and control and uh, force people into a cult and control them for centuries, and then the the whole population would become Muslim. So as time stay, he don't have that, and this is the reason he you know he dissolved. Muhammad, he was able. Or let's say the Muslims after him actually they were able to do that. Muhammad was not really too much successful. The same day Muhammad he died actually almost Islam collapsed. So when a Muslim he make a statement, we laugh at your statement because your statement is laughable. And your statement proved to us that Jesus is God. And you know, I remember once I was speaking to two people, two Muslims, we were in a restaurant. And one of them, you know, they, 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 they hate to see someone he is an Arab and he is a Christian. They don't, they cannot take it. You know, it's like somebody have a needle in his bum. So one of them, he said to me, you know, I want to ask you about like something about your religion. The other guy who's older, he said to him, don't go there. And I noticed he is hitting him with the foot under the table. And I said to him, it's okay, it's okay. What is your question? So the guy, he said to me, well, you know, if Jesus is a son of God, so how come... His father did not save him. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say to him, are you sure? Actually, I did. I said, so you are saying if Jesus is not, if Jesus is son of God, obviously his father should save him, right? He said, yeah. I mean, come on, you have your son is going to be crucified. What do you do? You watch. So if he is really <laughs> his son, then he should save him. I said, well, thank you very much. So you are, you just confirm right now that Jesus is the son of God. He said, how? He said, you just said, if Jesus is the son of his father, which is God, then the father will save him. Well, isn't this what happened in your book? <laughs> and you should see the face of this guy. He became a potato. I said, I, I, no, no, I don't mean I don't. So, no, you said that. And the other guy, he said to him right away, the old man, he said to him, see, I told you, don't go there. I know him. If Jesus is the son of the father and the father is God and Jesus is the son of God, well, there is no way that Jesus, the son of God, will not be saved by the father who is God. But you must not believe that Jesus was saved. So what Muslims, they do always, they throw a rock, but the rock fell no far from their foot, and they break their toes. So I hope you, know, you enjoy today your toes, Mr. Halim Yaqub, and I don't want to forget your name is Yaqub, which is really kind of funny. If I ask you, who is Yaqub, can you tell me? What Yaqub mean? Do you tell me? Can you tell me? And what Yaqub, who is Israel? You don't, <laughs> I mean, look at you. You are just a fraud copy of the Jews. You copy the Jews. You copy a name from the Jews. Do you know who is Yaqub? What his name mean? 
who, who what Yaqub became, who is who is Israel? You don't know. How you call even yourself Yaqub? Jacob. And the funny your name is Halim. Isn't it this is one of the names of Allah? And you look, Allah is so Halim, He's so smart and patient, huh? uh, to the point uh you know he knew how the baby i mean he took he took his time to study how the baby was made so he come to a conclusion after studying for a thousand of years that the baby is made by the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women women she have a sperm coming from her ribs it's called a ribs sperm you can study it it's really known right so when a Muslim he speak and he question, those questions for us are very good because it will make the Christians learn how to refute them, how to get them busted. And I don't delete the comments of Muslims making false accusations because I want the Christians to learn. I want to see the Christian getting them busted. So when you go one day, if your son go in school, your son go in university, and a Muslim he lie to him, the Muslim Will not get away with it you will get him busted have you ever heard of a god he said that the sperm transform into congealed the blood this is god this is religion this is this is science science of the quran and then the clot the dead the, dead, the blood became lump and then the lump made the bones <laughs> that's some that is something so I hope we are able to cover all the topic. I apologize for disabling the chat. We will open the chat from time to time when we are going to have like a nice conversation, nothing important like yesterday, you know, those who join us. Uh, but for the sake of concentrating on the topic and to be sure that we will not go away with it, I mean, with, well, from the topic, uh, we disable it. And uh, I want to say thank you for being here. Always, you can feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, you don't have to donate. It's, you know, I mean, my service is for free. Uh, for sure we appreciate those who support us it's your support is always needed uh, however our service is for free for everybody for the poor before the rich and the lord will bless us all everyone he do as he can uh, there's people who download the videos there's people who add subtitle there's people who translate i mean all of us all of us we are delicious fruit on the table of the lord so be a fruit don't be an eater be useful in this earth time will go and time will come and the Lord will ask you what you did in your life how many Muslims how many atheists how many of your own family you saved I mean isn't it strange that even maybe you have somebody in your family they are atheists don't believe in God but yet you don't want to share with them you don't want to try to help them to save them if you cannot if you are not trying to save your family you will save whom so let us save everybody. Let us save the Muslims. We don't hate them. We love everyone, every human being. Hindus, atheists, Muslims, doesn't matter. We hate no one. We love everyone. And because the Lord, he, because the Lord, he said, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. He loved the whole world. He did not love the white or the black or the Asian or the Hispanic. He loved all of us. All of us. It's an open invitation for every human being. For God, he loves you. Follow what makes sense to you. Who is holy and who is not? Put the name of Christ and get the name of Muhammad. And just, just make a little compare. And you will know the answer right away. With little decency, you will find that we cannot even compare. It's an insult to compare between the Messiah and Muhammad. But just for the sake of education, to put a spotlight on the dirt and a spotlight on the holiness. For a Christ, he is a miracle. Not only he did miracle. For a Christ is holy. Even the Quran, chapter 19, says that, verse 19. For Jesus is living God. And the Quran confirmed that as we speak right now, Jesus is alive. Who we should follow, the living one or the one who did not live? And if the question is, 
will be Muhammad is the greatest prophet. So why the greatest he die and the one who is not the greatest right now is in heaven? I mean, which one is more having luxury life? The one is dead in the grave or the one who will live for thousands and thousands and thousands of years? That is the Messiah. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends, translate. My videos are for free for everybody. Feel free to do it, use it for good purpose. Never claim that those videos are yours. And uh, will be appreciated if you put a link for our channel or even our Patreon so people always can be updated where those videos are coming from. Thank you. God bless you. And take care. Bye-bye.